Hello, my name is Enrique Burrell with BCS ProSoft. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Netsuite DRP dashboard. Um, I want to start off on the top right. Um, I'm at the senior executive role, um, which is Mr. Scott Beveridge. And within the system, I'll be able to have different roles. Well, obviously, user based. Obviously, my system here has several roles that will give you certain features and capabilities depending on what that job or that user's uh, role is. Um, these are customizable. Um, so instead of senior executive, um, you can put, you know, um, officer or anything like that. Um, with my own, here's my, the dashboard in the middle, I have my key performance indicators. Um, where I'll have visibility into a lot of information, you know, throughout my organization. So um, as opposed to having to, you know, look up a report or having to bounce from different areas within the system to get the information that you want, um, you'll have it here in one simple view. Um, on the top left is my workflow engine. Um, it'll say reminders, but you know, when you start looking at it from, you know, what's going to cause an action, you know, obviously it's going to be a reminder. So Scott has six, uh, ten quotes to approve um, and nine purchase orders to approve. He could also put any reminders, phone calls to make to start anything. You can do that there. Uh, on the top right, uh, or, or to the right, you can see the top customers by sales. Uh, he has that by this month, but you'll be able to customize it here. Uh, by any time period that you want. I've got my customer trends and these are customizable as well. You know, I could pull these out if I need to um, and export that information. And Scott's got a little bit of information here that he's, to him he wants to, you know, he likes to keep track of shipments and, you know, that to him is really important. Um, you know, I guess everyone has a different set of eyes on how they view things um, and that's what he has there. Um, yeah, I want to drill down here. So you have the tabs up here where you can actually search throughout the system. Um, and, you know, I also wanted to show here on the global search where you, you know where you need to, as opposed to using those tabs, you can just use the global search. So, for example, if I wanted to look at my chart of accounts, I'll be able to drill down on that. Um, if there's a journal entry, if I wanted to create one or import any of that information or go to the journal entries page, I can. So I want to drill down here on some of these dashboards. This information here is really important for Scott. You know, he's with this KPI, he's going to be able to customize it with whatever information that he wants, just like any of these other um, KPIs. So we're going to go to the setups. Um, with he's going to have standard KPIs within the system. <clears throat> um, those are you know native to NetSuite, native to the software. You're going to get you know standard ones like you see sales or anything like that. Um, he can actually add custom KPIs as well. Custom KPIs are KPIs that are not that are not you know native to the to NetSuite. So any information you wanted to create to report on that key performance indicator, you can. <clears throat> um, with my thresholds and how that works is you know you'll see I can actually look at the range that I want. Um, if there's a specific threshold that's going to create that you know show that figure, I can. Um, I can also put headline items up there, um, and that if I wanted to compare it to, it's going to be last month. And that's kind of how I would customize my KPIs. So let's go ahead and drill down on some of these numbers because you can navigate from the dashboard. So bouncing out from different areas again throughout the system or going into another ERP solution or, you know, into Excel. Um, now we can drill down straight into that income. We're looking at this period versus the last period. This is my income statement here. and This is really where I'm going to see my reports come from. Um, at the bottom, I have it by period, but I'll be able to actually create a quick filter here um, on what I want to see on that report. Obviously, down there, you can see the time period that I have, and there's subsidiary context here. So it's a consolidated report, but if you wanted to break it out throughout, you know, the different subsidiaries that he has throughout his organizations, um, whether it could be different companies or location, how we have it here, um, you'd be able to do that. Um, and obviously customize the columns. <clears throat> At the bottom right, you're going to see that you can actually, obviously, you'll be able to print this report. Um, and you can email and schedule it um, and export it. You can export it in Word, Excel, or PDF. Now, from scheduling, and this is how you'll email, it, email the report out. So here's my the schedule name, the date, uh, and the start time if I wanted to run it more than once. So we're going to get this report every Monday morning. Um, we could do that, you know, once a month. You could do that there. 
So <clears throat> back into that email message. So I have my recipients. I can copy anybody else in the organization that I want to receive this email and add her in there. Any messages that I have that I want to put down in there, I can. Uh, and obviously attachments that I want to bring into the system so or into the email. That uh, could be an external document or anything like that. So from the from my income statements, from my financial row, I can always, you know, explode it, bring it down. So I'm going to go ahead and check in on some sales here and drill down to this detail. So here's my income statement by detail. Um, <clears throat> again, I can drill down to the invoice, the customer, view the transaction records in that fashion. Um, but let's keep drilling down to that actual transaction record. Which in this case would be the invoice. With this information here that we have here on the screen, obviously it's an invoice, but what you'll be looking at here, obviously something drove you to go look into this or you're just curious to know a little bit more about Smith. You know, we'll be able to look at what the items were for this invoice, obviously any billing information, shipping, um, gross profit on that product, activities. So if there's anything, so my salesperson was working with Gavin at Smith Inc. and there was some communication in there that maybe may have not gone too well or, you know, we just want to know how we're communicating with them or what kind of issues they're calling with or how that interaction is going. Um, I could look at the phone calls um, and create a new phone call, log one, or look at the history. I've got an audit trial workflow as well. Quote approvals and, again, configuration details. I can print this as well. So as far as looking at seeing what it looks like, <clears throat> Here's my invoice here. And these invoices are customizable. We could put a logo on there. Um, this is a little bit more detailed on what he wants. But you'll be able to see the items and so forth. And to even get a closer drill down on there, we'll look at the GL impact and what account it hits. So let's go ahead and open up that account, the 1100. Again, again I can look at that invoice. I can look at the from Honolulu, but we're working with Smith Inc. Paid invoice and view the transaction record there, paying full. So now that I'm out, you know, I've dug into the invoices, we've drilled down, how am I going to back out of this? Um, with the, with NetSuite, you'll be able to have, you know, where all recent records, where was I at? Maybe I was working a few minutes ago and someone called and I had, a, you know, I got called into a meeting um, and I need to go back and change that invoice or make some notes in there, I can do that. Oh, and I can always go back home to the dashboard. And here are my favorites. So there's things, places that you actually navigate to um, that you really like, that you, you know, you go into a lot, employee lists or any income statements or anything. Those are your favorites. So I can go to my subsidiaries there. Again, this is a dashboard. Just to kind of recap what we talked about. Again, the information is going to be at your fingertips at all times, whether I want to use the global search or drill down from my, straight from my, key, my KPI dashboard. Um, and I can use the financials portlet. The dashboards are customizable um, per role, so that any user can customize the, you know, their dashboard and what the information that they need to see. Um, and again, the system is, again, it's mobile, it's web-based, so I'm making these changes and I'm driving from the field or I'm out on vacation or I'm just you know, working remote and I want to make some changes or look into my system. I can do it straight from my dashboard. Again, my name is Enrique Burrell, and thank you very much.